Right everyone, it is Finn here. Welcome back to another video where today I'll be ranking every Premier League club's first choice goalkeeper from best to worst. Now I'm very aware that this is going to be a very controversial video to make, ranking every Premier League club's main goalkeeper from first to 20th place, and I've come to the realization that I might upset a few people along the way. It was definitely an interesting video to plan out and I hope the risk that I've made with some of these choices is somewhat entertaining to watch. I hope this is an entertaining video to watch, but without Without further ado, here is my ranking of goalkeepers in the Premier League from 1st to 20th place. And I also want you guys to remember that the Premier League is probably the best league in the entire world. And I don't actually think of any of these goalkeepers as bad whatsoever. In fact, the goalkeeper I put in 20th place, I'd probably still give a solid 6.5 out of 10 on most days. But as I said, risky video to make, going to be controversial, I hope it's entertaining. This is my list of Premier League goalkeepers from 1st to 20th place. Now goalkeeper number one I'm going to be talking about is going to be the fantastic Lucas Fabianski from West Ham United who in my opinion definitely has to be within that top 10 bracket I mean he's been a fantastic goalkeeper in the Premier League for many years for Arsenal for Swansea but mainly for West Ham United he's been a fantastic goalkeeper although it doesn't have a handful of clean sheets this season so far it is very early days on his day he is the perfectly polished goalkeeper or polished goalkeeper may I add with a 71% save success rate last season and 2.9 saves per game on multiple occasions has kept West Ham United truly in the game. I think he's fantastic, has really saved West Ham United on multiple occasions, is one of the most underrated goalkeepers in the entire world, I would say. And as I said, definitely in that top 10 bracket and in this list of 1 to 20, I'd probably put him in that number 10 position. Now, that's not because I think he's bad or anything. I just think there's a lot of competition and there are some really highly rated goalkeepers in this division. And I think top 10, look, although maybe the lower ends of top 10, definitely think he does deserve to be somewhere in that ranking. And talking about highly rated goalkeepers, next up we've got the likes of Hugo Lloris, a World Cup winning captain. Now for years now people have spoken about the likes of Harry Kane moving on from Spurs, the fact that he deserves more, but no one talks about the fact that Hugo Lloris, a World Cup winning captain, a fantastic goalkeeper, has been at Spurs for over 10 years now, definitely deserves a lot more credit. Now where am I going to place him in this list of 1 to 20? I'm going to put him in that number 5 position. I think he is a fantastic goalkeeper on his day in terms of a save success rate. Last season, he had a 71.7 save success rate with three saves per game. Now, yes, I know statistically not all of these things are going to match up when I talk about one goalkeeper and then another, but I do want you guys to remember but not all of this is going to be stat-based. Lots of teams, there's lots of variations people don't think about. Like they've got a different defense ahead of them, they've got a different team ahead of them. There are lots of variables here, so not everything in this video is going to be stat-based, if that makes sense. A tiny bit of it is going to be a bit emotionally driven. I think Hugo Lloris is definitely within the top five best goalkeepers in the league. I'm going to put him in that number Number five position. I would put him slightly higher. I mean, he's definitely will go down as a Spurs legend. But to me, from time to time, he has slipped up. He has made a few unnecessary mistakes, but still is a fantastic goalkeeper on his day. Next up, I've got the likes of newly promoted Norwich goalkeeper Tim Krul, and it would be cruel to put him anywhere lower than 15th place, which is exactly where I've put him. Look, I feel like Tim Krul is such a heavily underrated goalkeeper. In terms of penalty stoppers, I'll probably put him in the top three in the entire league, and I know that is very highly rated, but he is that good. Last season in the championship, had the second most clean sheets in the league with 18 out of 36. As I said, fantastic goalkeeper, fantastic penalty stopper. I am going to put him in 15th place once again that might seem low to some of you guys but it's actually relatively high as I said there are a lot of really good goalkeepers in this league it is very competitive and 15th place for a newly promoted goalkeeper is not bad at all once again talking about probably another underrated goalkeeper it is going to be the likes of Nick Pope now Nick Pope has been a superstar for Burnley for years now and is definitely as I said one of the most underrated goalkeepers in the world many people think that he should be England's number one goalkeeper and I mean looking at him statistically 3.6 saves per game one of the highest rated in the league in terms of save success rate it is a 75.5 save success rate which is monstrous once you think about it now once again in terms of uh, goals or in terms of shots conceded per game it is going to be higher than most other clubs because Burnley is a very defensive team not a very attacking forward therefore they are going to concede a lot of shots therefore that is why as I mentioned earlier lots of these stats won't match up so it's not fair to only look at the stats I think Pope is a fantastic goalkeeper once again 
Shen probably around mid-table with all these goalkeepers, purely because of how high the competition is, and I'm going to put him in that 19th position. We then move on to the Saints goalkeeper, the Southampton goalkeeper, and the likes of Alex McCarthy, who from time to time is a fantastic goalkeeper for his club. Now, of course, Southampton defensively haven't been in a great space over the last year or two. He's definitely had to be called up to action from time to time in terms of the save success rate. Definitely one of the lower ones on this list with only a 62% save success rate. But once again, as I said, that's not always a fair comparison as it maybe is a goalkeeper who really does receive a lot more shots. I feel like Alex is a really good goalkeeper, but unfortunately I have to put him in that number 18th position out of 20. Yes, I know that is very low down on the table, but as I said, even the bottom five goalkeepers on this list, I don't rate lowly whatsoever. I think all goalkeepers in this league are fantastic, but in terms of rating them out of 20, I would probably end up putting McCarthy on the lowest spectrum of that, and I am sorry. But now to just lift the mood a tiny bit and maybe talk about a goalkeeper who will be a lot higher up on this list, it is going to be the likes of Kasper Schmeichel. Now, I've heard many commentators say before that Kasper Schmeichel will always be known as Peter Schmeichel's son, and that definitely is not the case. Kasper Schmeichel has built his own own legacy. He, he is an FA Cup winner. He is a Premier League winner. He is a fantastic goalkeeper and by far one of the best in the entire league. I spoke about Krul earlier in terms of penalty savers. I would put, probably put Schmeichel on top of that list. The best penalty saver in the entire league. He is absolutely fantastic on his day but would I fit him into my top five or top six in terms of Premier League goalkeepers? To be honest with you, I'm going to put him in seventh place. Yes, he is a fantastic goalkeeper. In terms of clean sheets, he always threatens in terms of maybe getting the golden glove one day. I do think he is a fantastic goalkeeper. He has built such a legacy with Leicester City. He will go down as a legendary goalkeeper. Is fantastic for his national team and his club. But as I said, I am going to put him in seventh place from time to time. I feel like he does make mistakes in terms of its distribution. He is definitely not the best. He has cost Leicester City points from time to time in terms of sloppy mistakes and sloppy communication. As I said, I still feel like he is a fantastic goalkeeper. But unfortunately, the highest I can feel I can put him is seventh place. The next club I'm going to be talking about has really rotated between quite a few goalkeepers over the last few years and it is going to be Newcastle United. Obviously they've got the likes of that new goalkeeper who they got from Swansea who went out on loan at Swansea last season. Got the most clean sheets in the championship. They've got Dubravka, they've obviously got Dalo. They've got quite a few really good goalkeepers and it's kind of tricky to decide who is their first choice goalkeeper. But at the end of the day I have gone for the likes of Dalo. He did play the most games last season. He was absolutely fantastic. 3.5 saves per game game definitely I mean he exceeded my expectations for Newcastle last season on multiple occasions won them valuable points and I feel like whichever goalkeeper I cho chose from Newcastle United I'm going to put them in more or less the same place and it is going to be 13th place once again Dolo not the best goalkeeper in the entire league definitely does deserve some credit though and I feel like Newcastle United fans will be relatively happy with 13th place fantastic goalkeeper next up we've got one of the big boys in the likes of Liverpool and obviously it is no surprise that their main goalkeeper is going to be the last of Alison Becker, who what a game changer for Liverpool. Definitely on the higher spectrum of this 1 to 20 list. I mean, when Liverpool was struggling with Karius many years ago, I'm pretty sure Liverpool fans went to bed every single night just crying themselves to sleep. But Alison really has changed the game for them. Won a Champions League, won a Premier League, has won pretty much everything he can with Liverpool. Definitely deserves to be within that top three space. And I'm going to put him in second place, to be honest with you. As I said, it is very tricky to decide between first and third place. I mean, it could go to absolutely any one of those goalkeepers, in my opinion. Allison is a fantastic goalkeeper on his day. Unfortunately, last season, he showed us on quite a few occasions that he can slip up from time to time. He had a spell where he wasn't looking that great. I feel like on the ball, he is a fantastic goalkeeper. And don't worry, Liverpool fans, although I haven't put him first on this list. I mean, the only goalkeeper to score a goal last season in the Premier League, which, once again, not too bad. Has a save success rate of about 72.4%. Save 2.5 shots um, a game last season. Not bad whatsoever, especially considering Liverpool were under a lot of stress. You have to remember that. Liverpool struggled with so many injuries last season. Have to give Liverpool some credit. Have to give Alisson some credit. And as I said, second place, it's tricky not to put him in first place, but there's just so much competition. 
Next up, I'm going to be putting the goalkeeper that will be in 20th place. And of course, it is not a position that anyone wants to be in. No one wants to be told that they should be in dead last. But in 20th place, unfortunately, Watford, I have put the likes of Backman, your Austrian goalkeeper, I believe. Look, I think he's absolutely fantastic for the national team. And it's just really by default that I put him in 20th place. As I said, I don't think any of these goalkeepers are bad. So please don't think if I've put your goalkeeper low that I think he's bad whatsoever. 13 clean sheets and 23 championship games last season or something like that. That is not bad whatsoever unfortunately i just haven't seen enough of him in the premier league yet so far to make a judgment unfortunately the only game i've properly watched of his was that game versus spurs where he had quite a few slip-ups in my opinion unfortunately as i said hasn't made an impressional mark on me quite yet so i do have to put him in last place i'm sorry now of course we spoke about Nick Pope a tiny bit earlier and how many people think that he should be England's number one but now we're going to be talking about the player who actually is England's number one in terms of Jordan Pickford. Now Jordan Pickford is one of those players that just frustrates me. I'm glad I'm not English because he would absolutely drive me crazy because for the national team he is easily one of the best goalkeepers in the entire world. If this was based just purely off of national team ranking he would be in the top three no doubt but in terms of his club level we've just seen him slip up way too many times in terms of club level i just don't know what it is pickford turns into a completely different goalkeeper makes so many mistakes and because of that i have to put jordan pickford in 14th place yes i know that is very low down on the table i feel like on his day jordan pickford is a fantastic goalkeeper i mean maybe his biggest achievement last season wasn't getting to the final of the euros maybe it was more the fact that he injured the likes of virgil van dyke as as I said, good goalkeeper for the national team, but at club level, I just have not seen it. Now, talking about a goalkeeper who, yes, has had his fair share of mistakes and can look brilliant on his day, it is time to talk about the likes of David De Gea. Now, yes, I am a Manchester United fan. I'll obviously try not to be too biased about it. Obviously, as a Manchester United fan, I know on a regular basis that David De Gea can be world class. I think that he should be rated very highly on this list. I definitely don't think he deserves to be within the top three rating, though. We cannot forget, though, a few years ago David De Gea was regarded by most people as the best in the entire world many people thought of him as better than Neuer better than Oblak better than Tostega better than Allison, better than all of these goalkeepers that are now considered the best in the world we cannot forget how incredible he was for so many years carrying Manchester United and because of that I'm going to put David De Gea in fourth place now yes I know many people are going to say that he has made quite a few mistakes over the last few years and I'm not just putting him so high up on this list because of his penalty save the other day versus West Tam, I mean, David De Gea is not regarded as a great penalty saver. In fact, this was the first penalty he saved out of his last 40. But at the end of the day, David De Gea plays a crucial role for Manchester United, has saved them on multiple occasions, is a Golden Glove winner, deserves a lot more credit. Unfortunately, as I said, is no longer within the top three goalkeepers in the league, in my opinion, anymore, has to step up. But if he plays like this for the rest of the season, like he started this Premier League season, I could definitely see him maybe breaking into that top three position but as I said at the moment I think fourth place is fairly good for David De Gea. Next up we've got another newly promoted player in the likes of Raya the Brentford goalkeeper and Brentford what a dream starts to this Premier League campaign. They have only lost one game and it was versus Brighton. They have been incredible this season and Raya definitely deserves a lot of credit. What a goalkeeper. He has proven that he is a Premier League worthy goalkeeper which is an absolutely fantastic thing to see. Obviously in the championship last season for Brentford had one of the most clean sheets in the league I think he is an absolutely fantastic goalkeeper I've put him really high up on this list to be honest with you but just purely because I've really been impressed with his transition from championship to Premier League that you don't see in a lot of goalkeepers and I've put him in 12th place yes I know that is very high especially considering some goalkeepers I've got on this list lower than him like Pickford I've got lower than him but as I said Raya has just impressed me so much and does deserve to be relatively higher we've now got another relatively new player to the Premier Premier League and the likes of Jose Sa, except for the fact that he wasn't promoted to the Premier League but moved from the likes of Olympiacos to Wolverhampton Wanderers as they had lost their goalkeeper Rui Patricio to AS Roma. Now of course those are pretty big boots and pretty big gloves to fill I guess but Jose Sa is not looking like a bad goalkeeper at the moment. Unfortunately as I said I just haven't seen enough from him in the Premier League so far. I feel like when he started off in the Premier League the first few games for Wolves he had a few sloppy decisions, a few sloppy moments of bad communication at the back. I've also seen him have some really great saves and he looks like he has potential to be a good goalkeeper in the Premier League but as I said because I haven't seen enough from him quite yet I am, have, I am going to have to put him in that 16th place as I said I know that's low down but I feel like he could
could move up as the season goes on. 13 clean sheets out of 23 in the Greek league last season, the most out of anyone in the league. Could be a fantastic goalkeeper, we'll just have to wait and see. We now move on to the Brighton goalkeeper. Talking about big boots and big gloves to fill, it's going to be the likes of Sanchez, who has been so fantastic for Brighton over the last year or two. It's even gotten an international call-up to the Spanish national team. How incredible is that? When Sanchez was kind of brought in to be the player to replace the likes of Matt Ryan, who went out on loan to Arsenal last season at the time, I thought surely Brighton were going to crumble this season. But Sanchez has proven he can be a fantastic goalkeeper, 2.4 saves per game, 71 save success rate. He is an absolutely fantastic goalkeeper, has really won so many points for Brighton. I think he's one of the most underrated goalkeepers in the league. From time to time, I think he could move to a top club in the Premier League. He is that brilliant. Uh, once again, maybe I wouldn't quite put him in the top six, top seven quite yet. I think he could work to that stage, but I'm kind of going to close off this mid-table region in terms of my first to 20th ranking, and I'm going to put him in that 11th place position, somewhere towards mid-table. As I said, I think he's a fantastic goalkeeper. Yes, he could improve in some areas, but he has definitely once again exceeded my expectations. We move from one Spanish goalkeeper to another and it is going to be the likes of Gaeta from Crystal Palace and it pains me because I am going to put him quite low on this table. I am going to put him in that 17th place position and once again I think he is a fantastic goalkeeper. I've, uh, goalkeeper. I've seen him on many occasions save the team especially versus top teams like Spurs he normally seems to pick up. He is a fantastic goalkeeper on his day especially considering the competition that's been at Crystal Palace over the last few years with Wayne Hennessy and now the likes of Jack Butlin at the club. As I said obviously well now Hennessy is left but I do think Gaita is a fantastic goalkeeper once again is a player that from time to time is prone to mistakes doesn't always have the fastest reflexes but I think is absolutely phenomenal but unfortunately have to put him in 17th place there's just so much tough competition and it, it sucks to put players this low to be honest with you but it has to be done next up we've got the likes of German goalkeeper Bernd Leno from Arsenal now of course Arsenal have not been good over the last season or two and that definitely does not help Bernd Leno's case obviously defensively Arsenal Arsenal have been horrific over the last season or two, have just gotten their second win this Premier League season out of five. Definitely a slow start. I am hoping they pick up, although I'm not an Arsenal supporter. I don't like seeing anyone do poorly. But looking at the likes of Bernd Leno, on his day, his reflexes are the fastest in the Premier League. He can be fantastic. Unfortunately, another goalkeeper from time to time who can be prone to mistakes, can make sloppy decisions, doesn't always communicate with, with his defense. I saw that in the first game of the season versus Brentford for Arsenal. Unfortunately, Bernd Leno unfortunately miscommunicated from time to time I think there is a possibility that Ramsdale could replace him he's had a good few games for Arsenal two clean sheets in his first two games for Arsenal Burnt Leno has got a lot of competition but I'm going to put him in that eighth place position I do feel like he is a good goalkeeper I do feel like he does deserve to be within that top 10 has saved Arsenal on many occasions and was genuinely in my opinion an option for goalkeeper of the season last season for what he did for Arsenal for, from time to time I know, once again, a bit of a big excl exclamation, a bit of a high claim, but I genuinely think he is a great goalkeeper. Now, we only have four positions remaining on my list of 1 to 20, and that is going to be 1st, 3rd, 6th, and 19th. Obviously, three really high positions and a very low one, and we're kind of just going to close off the lower ends of the table. In 19th place, unfortunately, I've got the likes of Melier from Leeds United. Now, Leeds United fans, please do not click off. I don't think Melier is a bad goalkeeper whatsoever. An average of four saves per game higher than anyone else in the Premier League last season I think he's a fantastic goalkeeper but unfortunately he's still very young he's still learning he's only like 20 years old he is still learning as I said I feel like he still has to bulk up a tiny bit he does need to become a bit stronger obviously as I said being a young goalkeeper it's only going to be natural that he still has to learn and that's why he's low down on this position it's not because I don't think he's good whatsoever I just think he's still got a long way to learn before I do consider him one of the best in the league definitely saved Leeds United on multiple occasions last season defensively Leeds United weren't that great which doesn't help Melia's case but as I said four saves per season with about an average of 72.9 save success rate versus some of the best strikers and attackers in the world that's not bad whatsoever I think Melia will be a top goal uh, keeper one day I feel like he could play for a top five top six club he is that good but unfortunately just in terms of rankings how they are right now I have to put him on the lower ends of the spectrum I'm sorry now we only have three positions left being first third and 
sixth place now i am going to go to sixth place and it is going to be the likes of emiliano martinez and what a goalkeeper this guy has been i feel like the reason i haven't put him higher than this is purely because i want to see him do it year after year to prove a tiny bit more of a point but he has been fantastic a year or two ago when he kind of slotted into arsenal's goalkeeper when burnt leno got injured he proved a point winning two trophies with arsenal last season he was one of the most clean sheeted goalkeepers in the league for aston villa that is impressive he won the copper America with Argentina 75.5 save success rate he is truly one of the best goalkeepers in the league I'm very tempted to put him in the top five maybe even the top four as I said the only reason I haven't done that is because I'd like to see him do it season after season but at the end of the day Aston Villa you have got yourself a really good goalkeeper now with our first and third place still being open which maybe I should have saved my first and second place to be a tiny bit more suspenseful but as I said between first second third I feel like any of these goalkeepers goalkeepers it would have been valid to put them in first place in fact on their day most of these goalkeepers could have been first place but in first place I've gone for the likes of Eduard Mendy the Chelsea goalkeeper who came to Stamford Bridge last season how spectacular has he been the UEFA men's goalkeeper of the year once again his statistics aren't actually that much better than uh, the likes of Edison who I've put in third place in fact on many of them Edison has beaten the likes of Mendy obviously Edison has won more Premier Leagues he's been a fantastic goalkeeper Mendy has won the Champions League though with Chelsea. I feel like either of these goalkeepers could be first. But I've put the likes of Mendy there just purely because of the impact that he made at Chelsea last season. With the likes of Kepa being their main goalkeeper, Chelsea needed a really good goalkeeper and they needed it fast. And the likes of Mendy definitely was that man. Only about four goals conceded in the entire Champions League season last season. He was absolutely fantastic. 69.5 save success rate compared to the likes of Edison's 70.2. As I said, not necessarily better. But of course, as I said, I just feel like Edison had or the likes of um, Mendy had such a huge impact on the club. I cannot not put him in first. Watching some of the saves that he has made from time to time, I truly believe that maybe he is the best uh, goalkeeper in the world or at least in the league. I mean, as I said, from first to third, any one of them, in my opinion, could have won this list with the likes of Allison, Edison and Mendy. Also, kind of the reason I haven't put Edison in the likes of first place is yes, I know he's won multiple Golden Gloves. I know he's won multiple Premier League. But from time to time, I still feel like Edison slips up way too many times. I feel like in terms of in-the-moment judgments, he really can be a bit rash, a bit irrational, and cost his team valuable points. I don't always feel like he is the best goalkeeper. Where Mendy, as I said, has been fantastic over the last year or so, and I've just been thoroughly impressed with him. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is my ranking and listing of every Premier League first-choice goalkeeper from 1st to 20th place. Yes, as I said, I'm aware that I am going to upset some people, but you know what? That is football. I'm always going to upset someone whether i put the likes of geiter in like 16th place or whether i put him in second place that's going to upset someone if i put the likes of edison in first place or even second place that's going to upset someone that is football everyone gets upset by something but you know what you learn to live with it but guys i hope you have enjoyed this video if you want me to make this kind of video concept with any other position being right back striker attacking midfielders anything like that or maybe even other leagues let me know in the comment section down below i hope you have enjoyed it if you want to catch more content like this in the future please do subscribe down below so that you don't miss more content like this in the future i would absolutely love to hit 1700 subscribers very soon along with can you guys please hit that like button down below can we please get this video to 20 likes because this has been finn fy double n until next time cheers